One of the most common tips you'll ever hear for caring for your hair is avoid heat. But sometimes you will want to avoid heat, but you also want to curl your hair. So today we're gonna to test five different ways to get heatless curls and find out which ones work best. Hello and welcome to the Queendom. I'm Sarah Ingle and today we're testing five different ways of getting heatless curls. We're gonna try these little roller guys. We're gonna try these spiral curl thingies. We're gonna try uh, pin curls that just require bobby pins. We're gonna try braids. We're gonna try, I mean, these aren't socks. They're technically tights, but we're just gonna try all sorts of things. I honestly almost never curl my hair, whether with heat or without. So I don't know the best method, but you guys have been asking to find out and I'm really curious. We're just gonna find out. Uh, obviously my hair is wet. You're gonna want your hair to be wet for these, but the thing about wet hair is, please remember, with wet hair, your hair is extra fragile when it's wet. So that's why you also really don't wanna heat your hair while it's wet. That's a great way to fry it off. These with the little Velcro things make me a little nervous, but uh, we're gonna do it anyways, and we're just gonna be careful with it. So these are the closest that I could find to actual foam rollers. I guess foam rollers, would be somewhere in between these. I have a ton of them, um, but they are at Princess Headquarters, which is like a thousand miles away from me at the moment. I know that for me personally, those actually do work. That is a method that I have used, but it's probably been like forever. I have probably haven't done that since like forever. We're just gonna see what types of curls these give us. And also like kind of look at, see like which ones are comfortable. We're gonna start with a method that I know works really well for me. For the longest time, my most popular video was how to put your hair in a wig cap, my original version. And I basically would have some of it braided and some of it pin curled. And so I know that if I put my hair in pin curls, hence pin curls, it's like, the name where they come from. I know that if I put my hair in pin curls while it's wet, when it dries, if it comes out, they come out in like these perfect, like, what's the word? Curls. So let's just start with a couple of those. The easiest way for me to do it, especially with the amount of long hair that I have, is just take two fingers, start wrapping the hair around it. And then once you've got this little coil here, you're just gonna take that and kind of flatten it to your hand and turn it. Turn it, is that the word? You're just gonna coil it up. You're gonna just keep moving it up and keep it pretty flat. Flat is probably not as important as it is for when you're using wig caps, but if you want it to be comfortable enough to sleep in, you can, you can probably arrange that if you keep it pretty flat to your head. Um, you see we didn't do anything pulling on it too hard there, but what I do is I stick two bobby pins in to hold it, and I usually do them in a little crisscross. There we go. Testing curl type number one, pin curls. I kinda wanna try one of these <coughs> to create curls. Wind a small section of hair in a long open spiral around the entire width of the curler, bending in the ends of the curls to secure the hair. To create waves, roll a small section of hair around the center of the curler, bending in the ends of the curler to secure the hair. That is not a lot of difference. <laughs> Let's try this. This seems like a good idea. You can tell me in the comments if I'm doing it wrong. Okay, that should be one. Let's try a big one too. And let's see, something like just in the middle. Just like this, maybe? It seems very similar to me. I don't know. I don't know. We're just gonna try it. We're just gonna try it. Two methods down. We got a pin curl. We got two of these 
spiral curls in. Now let's try maybe one of these guys. This Amp It Up self-holding rollers. These make me nervous. They make me feel like they're gonna get stuck in my hair. Let's pull one of these little guys out. Whoa, we already lost one. These look way too small. They're like stuck inside each other. Come out. Ha ha. Like those little nesting dolls. Here we go. One for each finger. Maybe we just go with the middle of the road one. Just average it out. Divide hair to sections. Wrap the ends of the hair around the roller and roll towards the scalp when finished. Use blow dryer. Nope, I'm not using the blow dryer. I think we can do these without the blow dryer. It might hold a little better if you use the blow dryer, but they should, I mean, like the curls should hold. But, should. I'm not gonna use hairspray either, cause. This is self-holding, but I think it's only self-holding if you don't have as long of hair as I have, cause it's no longer uh, self-holding. So I'm gonna add a bobby pin. There, we've got a roller in. So, socks. I've seen people braid like a sock and the front of my hair is a little shorter so this would be a little easier, but in the back it's even longer. And I was like, there's no way I'm gonna be able to braid a sock all the way down my hair. Uh, but these tights look like they'd work great because I think what you're supposed to do somehow, I'm not entirely sure how, but like, you're supposed to like braid the strands in together. Like basically this whole thing is just one strand. So two of the three are sock. Something like this. Um. Yes. I want to see what happens if we just braid one more section. Just do a regular braid. Cause I know it tends to come out kind of wavy, but let's. I just want to compare. So <laughs> I'm trying. I'm really trying. There is no try. If I can do it, you can. Let me assure you. Not. Not. Try not. By the time I get this one braid done, like my whole head's gonna be dry. There is no try. Okay, I don't like this braiding method already. It's just so hard to do. That is why you fail. Braiding, 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 braiding. All right, I will return when my hair is dry and we'll see which curling method worked best. Okay, I'm getting tired waiting. <laughs> Thinking about sleeping in this, I feel like these would probably be the most uncomfortable. These are squishy enough where I feel like it wouldn't be terrible. These aren't, but this isn't bad at all. This is really soft and squishy. The braids, um, it just feels like your hair is braided. And the pin curls, honestly, I think can be pretty comfortable too. So let's just go through these one by one then and see uh, how these turn out. I'm gonna start with these just cause they're, I'm just, I don't know how it's gonna look. <laughs> These ones are the most unfamiliar with. These are definitely still wet. <sighs> um, yeah, but they would be curly if I let it curl. <sighs> Should I wait longer? Uh... These don't look like they curled that much. They probably would if I let it dry all the way, but the thing is it just kind of blends in. Actually, maybe it's supposed to be a wave because it blade blends in with the, the way my hair naturally goes wavy. This one, does this one feel more dry? This one does feel a little more dry. Maybe I save that one for last. We'll come back to this one because I'm not really impressed. Like I don't even know where it was. It just blends in there with the rest. I think it was this piece. Okay, maybe we do this one next. I feel like this one's pretty dry because there's like a sock here. Well, tights to... Yep, 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 yep. 
No, this one I can tell. Oh, this is definitely curlier. It's definitely got an interesting pattern to it. It's almost like crimp looking. Huh. There we go. This one definitely worked. It dried better. It kind of reminds me a little bit of like the 1940s, like crimped wave. I personally wouldn't do this because it just makes it like my hair dries a little bit, maybe a little bit more. It's a little more polished, but if you have really straight hair and want a way to do it, that's definitely an option. So let's see, which one next? Maybe this guy. This I'm a little nervous about taking out. I just hate these little Velcro things. So I feel like they stick to your hair and it's just unpleasant. Uh, I just feel like it feels damaging. Like if you're going for something, that, the whole point is to do something that doesn't damage your hair, but when you feel like you're taking it out, like you're ripping your hair out, that's... I feel like it defeats the purpose a little bit. It hurts, I don't like this one. I don't like this one. No. Cause there's hairs ripping out of all the little Velcros. This was a terrible idea. This one is at the bottom of the list. No. No! I feel like this would have been less damaged if I would have just used heat on it for a couple seconds. This, I'm more, how am I gonna get this out? I'm saying already, like, yes, this would work much better, first of all, if you put heat on it. They would look pretty, but just that, that, that pulling the hair out of this. Look, I've got hairs stuck to it. That means I broke hairs off in it. Ripping it out of my head. No, 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 no. It needed, oh no! It literally, I pulled out most of the curl and straightened it trying to get it out of my hair. I think this one almost requires heat in order to really set it. Not happy camper, okay. This guy here. Let's see, maybe if you pull, we pull it off like, like this. Oh, this one seems to be working a little better. Okay, here we go. This one's a little more dried, whatever method. Oh, whoa. Oh, wow, that actually worked pretty well, though. I, what happened here? It's like looped up on itself, I don't know. If it was a little more dry, it would've worked better. I'd say the socks, if you want a nice wave, are, are winning. Um, Let's undo this braid here. This is, I feel like everybody knows what their hair looks like when they unbraid wet hair. Let's see what that looks like. That just looks like my hair when I dry it. So we've saved for last, last, because it was hiding underneath the other ones, the pin curls. I feel like this needs to be more dry. But actually, you know what? It looks good. If I had to go with one that I like the way the, hair, the curl looks the best, I like the pin curls. Pin curls, you know what? And then the nice thing with pin curls is, you don't have to worry about uh, buying anything because all it requires is some bobby pins, so. Actually, for the amount of time, the only one that fully dried were these guys here. So if you want something that actually dries your hair at a decent rate, go with like the sock method. Um, the other ones, you've just gotta wait so long. This one is definitely at the bottom of the list. Did not like these. Braid, I just don't like the way it looks as much if you just straight up braid your hair. I'm I just, I'm, I'm not crazy about it. So that I think I would put number four. So the number three, I'm gonna put these guys. They actually work decently well if I would've waited. <laughs> yeah, I should've waited longer. I surprised, the sock method was actually pretty good. I feel like this would be really easy to sleep in because it's so soft, it's just like sleeping on your hair and it's really just a braid. It gives it kind of like that, I don't know, kind of makes me think it's the 40s wave. It's it's pretty. Um, but my favorite for just getting like a curl are the pin curls. I think it curls it in a really pretty way. Um, and if I had to let it dry all the way, it would have been even better. I still wanna try this method. These look really interesting, and if I do it again, I'll actually like sleep in them. But if you guys, any other interesting hair curling methods or any weird hair gadgets like this that you guys have heard of, tell me what they are, because I wanna do a whole video of weird hair gadget testing. So 
Tell me in the comments if you have any weird hair gadget you've ever seen that you'd like us to try. I hope at least one of these five methods is helpful for you. Uh, I hope this was educational for you to learn about these little grippy guys that will rip your hair out. They're kind of, ooh, nice and exfoliating. <laughs> So if you want to see more videos about hair, beauty, lifestyle, and fashion, usually with a pinch of magic, which means there's a lot of Disney stuff too, remember to subscribe and ring the little bell if you want those to come right to you. We put out new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so there's always new stuff headed your way. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day. I'll see you next time. Cold, I am. Why did it say that like Yoda? I feel cold. It's nasty. Dab myself in the head with a bobby pin. Okay. Okay. Now I've got rollers sticking to me everywhere. Oh no. I have the hiccups. They're holy, but not in the virtuous way.